The .NET, a free and open source platform for building high-performance software in virtually every domain. It can tackle web apps, mobile apps, enterprise software, games, and more, but powered primarily by the C-sharp programming language. It was developed by Microsoft in the early 2000s as a Windows-centric framework, then rebooted in 2016 as .NET Core. And finally, in 2020, they dropped the core and unified the platform into modern .NET, with yearly releases that also target Linux, Mac OS, and the cloud. At a high level, .NET is built around a managed runtime called the Common Language Runtime, which handles memory management, garbage collection, and security, so you don't have to. This allows developers to write code in high-level languages like object-oriented c -sharp, or its cooler functional brother f -sharp, or even the mentally ill cousin Visual Basic. No matter which language you choose, they all get compiled into an intermediate format called Common Intermediate Language, then just in time or ahead of time compiled into native machine code by the Common Language Runtime. This design lets multiple languages share the same runtime and libraries while still delivering near-native performance across platforms. But what really makes .NET special is its integrated ecosystem like ASP.NET for regular web apps, Blazor for WebAssembly-powered apps, Entity Framework Core for dead simple database access, MAUI for cross-platform mobile apps, and Poly for fault tolerance, just to name a few. And you'll find packages for virtually every use case in the NuGet Package Manager. On top of that, many third-party frameworks embed .NET to give developers the experience they crave, like Unity for game developers, Quant Connect for algo traders, and AutoCAD for real engineers who build real things in the real world. To get started, install.net, then open up VS Code and make sure you have the C-sharp dev kit extension enabled. Now hit Control p and find the new project command. There are all sorts of templates to start from, but let's keep it simple with the console app to build a CLI tool. And now we can open up this C-sharp file and start writing some code. It's a hugely popular strongly typed language that gives us excellent IntelliSense out of the box. Today, we're building an app called Only Horse Fans, and unfortunately, we need to verify that the user is 18 years old to comply with recent draconian legislation from our globalist overlords. To achieve that, we'll first have the user enter their age into the console, which we can do with the built-in console class. Once we have the user's age in the standard input, we can then parse the value into an integer. And then finally, we'll set up a ternary operator here to grant access if the age is over 18, or deny access otherwise. And now, let's open up the terminal and run it. Notice how we also get beautiful autocomplete and documentation in the entire CLI. Use the .NET run command to compile and execute the code. This has been .NET in 100 seconds. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.